So depending on which way your project is, you guys, we already labeled them yesterday, correct? <clears throat> Fantastic. So I have little cover sheets. I prefer to cover things up and go like only focus on a couple of boxes at a time. So if this will help you, I've got them already cut for you to use. Some people don't like that. They want to see the whole thing. So it's completely up to you on how you want to go about it. But basically, we're just going to start with kind of the um, bold outlines that you see. So people freak out about hair. So I'm actually going to start out with Beyonce's face. We're going to just get this outline where we can see her where her skin is, and then there's a hard line between the skin and the hair. Okay? So... <clears throat> I am going to start, I'm going to actually start at the top here. So I need to notice that this is row, or column 6, <clears throat> and then it's row G, okay? So then on my paper, here's G, and here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all right? <clears throat> So, I'm going to start just like our grid practice, that worksheet that we did, I'm going to start kind of in this corner, <clears throat> so that's right here, and I'm going to give myself little um, kind of guidelines, so then it kind of peaks, I would say about here. And then it leaves the box a um, little bit above that intersection, okay? So then I'm just going to kind of gradually <clears throat> connect those. And then I've drawn kind of this shape there, okay? Then I'm going to continue. So it barely goes into row 7. And then it leaves not quite, I look for halfway points, so to me this would be the halfway point of that box. So I guess it probably does go about halfway, which would be about here. <clears throat> so we don't see a lot of her skin there. And then I'm going to go ahead, and since there's a hard line, this is still technically probably her um, skin there, but there's that hard shadow. So I'm just going to draw this line for now. So we're moving down a row <clears throat> into G. And again, here's my halfway point. So I would say it's about three-fourths of the way through that box. So I'm going to go over here to my project. Here's my halfway point. I would say that line kind of leaves about here. So now I'm just kind of connecting that entrance and the exit point of that line. <clears throat> so now I'm moving down to the next row. For the eyes, we practiced how to draw eyes, right? But for today, I would just focus on the outline of the eye. Don't worry about making the eye look realistic. So we'll go ahead and do that now. All right, so my eye actually starts in row six, the little point there. So again, this is about my halfway point. So I would say her eye is about a little bit less than maybe a fourth of the way up that box. So here's my halfway point. I'm going to say the corner of her eye is about maybe here. And then it goes up. It's still not even halfway through that box, so I'm never going to go above about here in this box. And then I'm going to give myself a little guideline. So the corner of her eye <clears throat> is almost to the edge of row 7. And then this is kind of like a curved shape, but it doesn't quite go down to the, the bottom line here. Okay, so I've got to be kind of careful with this to create a curve, but don't touch that bottom line. Okay, then I need to give myself kind of a guideline for how high it should go. 
So I'm gonna go maybe about to here, and then that would leave me enough room for her eyelid. So then this is kind of skinnier on this side. I'm gonna go up and then back down. And that's really all you should get done for the eye. This would be where that eyelid would kind of fall. Okay, so that's still right below the halfway point of that box, so we're still good. You can go ahead and put in the outlines for eyebrows if you'd like. Um, so this really starts in box six. And it's just above the halfway point. So I'm gonna go about here, kind of create my arch. And then notice where it ends, it's almost touching this line of seven. So about here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my little triangle there for the corner of her eyebrow. And then I need to create this arch. And then connect there. So hopefully you guys are kind of getting the gist of this. Then I'm gonna go and move down. For the nose, I would not draw anything on the nose besides um, the nostrils. If the kind of shadows around the outside of the nostrils are pretty dark, you could go ahead and like lay these lines down, but that's about all. So this would actually be in, still in six, and then it would be down in E. So here's F, oops. F and then E is where my nose would be. <clears throat> so again, I'm gonna cover up kind of everything else around it. We're gonna see where that nose falls in the box. All right, so here, this would be the halfway point. So that's kind of like the top of those nostrils. And then, it's about halfway. So there's kind of, that's what would be the bottom of the nose eventually. And it kind of goes up. And then look at these as shapes. So what kind of shape do you see? It's almost like a small little oval there. And then, It almost touches the outside of box six. And then up. And then on this side of the nostril, <clears throat> it's kind of a funky shape. And I think that's just because it's a shadow, so it's a little bit bigger. And I see almost more like a triangle in a way. Okay. And then again, <clears throat> That nostril actually barely goes outside of six. So we're just gonna kinda draw that shadow that's creating the outside. And that's gonna go barely into seven. Okay, so again, we'll add shading later by adding some shadows here. That's gonna make that nose look a little more realistic, but don't worry about that for today. Okay, you guys getting the hang of this? So I'm probably going to keep working um, a little bit more and maybe do like a time lapse of this just so you guys can see um, kind of the rest of the face and then I'll walk around and help you guys individually. Sound good? All right.